Welcome back to the channel and to another WNBA video. We got a two game slate to dive into for Thursday, September 5th. So we're going to break down and analyze each of those games. We'll talk about which way that I'm leaning as far as the points on the spread. We're also going to talk about any player props I found for those games that I like. And then any picks that I put in officially myself, I am going to list right down there in that pinned comment. So make sure you check back in. That way you can see if you'd like to ride along with me. But before we dive into these games, we need to go over what we took yesterday, what we picked and how that ended up going down. We took Odyssey Sims, put a full unit on her over nine and a half points. Now, somehow I caught this at minus 130 the night before at midnight. Um, right before tip-off, it had been juiced all the way up to minus 290. Man, I wouldn't even have touched it at that point. Uh, just completely absurd at those odds, right? Uh, but she clears this one by a mile, as we expected. Um, I don't know what they were thinking, putting that one at minus 130. But hey, I'll take it, man. I don't set the odds. You know, I'm just glad I found it when I did. Uh, but Caitlin Clark, under five and a half rebounds. We took that one, put a half unit on it. We do not hit on that one. She finishes with a triple-double. Great game for Caitlin, man. She she tore it up, um, as she has been lately, right? Uh, just what a great season. What a great rookie year from her. Um, and then we took the Sparks in that game, plus 11 and a half. We put a half unit on that one, and we do hit on that one as well. So a two and one night. You got to love it, man. We'll take it. Um, Looking for that sweep, though, man. Hopefully that sweep is coming tonight. We got two games to dive into. So let's get into it, man. Uh, let's not waste any more time. I've got the Seattle Storm taking on the New York Liberty in the first game. The Liberty are laying seven and a half. We got an over-under sitting at 165. The Storm, they are on the last game of a three-game road trip here, and they are just three and five since the Olympic break. Uh, the Liberty, they're going to come into this one at home with a huge three-day rest advantage. Uh, New York has won, or they did win, four straight out of the break, and they have since split their last four alternating wins and losses. Uh, both of these teams, though, they're coming into this one fresh off of wins. Uh, while the Liberty have definitely coasted through these last few games, man, I still like them in this spot at home with the rest advantage over Seattle. Uh, if we look at both these teams in the last eight games they've played since the return from the break, they're both struggling offensively. The Liberty are shooting 44% from the field for fifth place. And the Storm are just 42%. That's third to last. Uh, New York is hitting the second most threes in that time, though, uh, but it's for a middle of the pack uh, six best 34 uh, percent while the storm are dead last in three-point uh, shooting percentage at only 25 percent and they're hitting the second least amount of threes overall uh, new york has ranked just fifth in offensive rating um, in this time span those last eight games while seattle is sitting at just sixth uh, but despite these offensive struggles the liberty are fourth in both effective field goal and true shooting percentage while the storm are sitting at 10th in both of those categories uh, the major difference between these two, it's on the defensive end. Uh, the Storm are just seventh in defensive rating in the last eight, while the Liberty are tops in the W, sitting at first, with a defensive rating four points lower than that of the second-place Sun. Uh, New York has had a net rating of 13.2 in this time, also first in the W, while the Storm sit at negative 3.8. That is seventh overall. The Liberty, they've also been the top rebounding team in this eight-game stretch, while the Storm are sitting at dead last in that respect. The Liberty are pulling down 11 and a half offensive rebounds per game. That's just three tenths less on average than the lead league. Um, and this is leading to the second most second chance points. Storm are giving up points at the third highest rate in this respect. Uh, these two met in Seattle last Friday. New York smoked Seattle on the glass, guys, 45 to 17. Um, so look, this is a lot of points to lay, sure, but I'll take the team with the massive rest advantage that hasn't played since these two last met on Friday over the team that's played two tough physical games in Connecticut since then. Uh, the clear advantage on the glass and the fact that Seattle's offense has struggled the way it has while facing a New York defense that has been the best in the W since the break. Look, man, you know, I, I'm gotta, I gotta go with the Liberty here, man, you know? Uh, the Storm have not won back-to-back -back road games in three months as well. The Liberty have only lost once over their last seven games at home. So there's there's more than enough for me to get behind the Liberty team here for this one here. Um, even with those seven and a half points, man, I think I got to lay it with the, with New York on this one. Uh, but for the total, I'm going to look under. Uh, they crushed this line when they met on Friday. But over the last five on the road, Seattle is hitting under this line at a 60% rate. New York's last five at home, they are also hitting under this market at 60% rate. Uh, with the recent struggles of both offenses and the Liberty rolling in with the league's best defense, I'm going to take my shot with an under on this one. So we're going to jump over to Outlier to look at a player prop here, guys. And Outlier is a it's the best sports research betting tool there is, man. Uh, make sure you get down into the link or, or into the description. Excuse me. There's going to be a link that you can click into. Uh, and you can be able to sign up here to get a free seven day trial to try it out for yourself. Uh, but it's phenomenal, man. We can, uh, you know, look over here to the left. You can 
break everything down by the games, right? You know, you can check out which games are going on for that day. It's going to break it down for you as far as the money line odds, you know, the spread, the total, and you can just start clicking into all of these and start filtering it whichever way you want, man, looking at just on home games, just against, you know, just away games, um, just strictly against this number right here. You know, and it's going to show you how many times they've hit, how many times they've missed. You know, there's the team matchups off here to the right. That's going to break down all those stats that you're jumping around at two different sites looking for. Man, and then they got these lovely insights where they just start showing you all these different trends, right? Uh, different player props, different trends. Um, man, it's just a fantastic tool. So like I said, make sure you get to that link down there in the description. That way you can get this free seven-day trial and you can see for yourself. But we're going to be looking at Ezzy Magbagor right here. Her rebounds under seven and a half. Now she plays for Seattle. Uh, we can catch this here. Here's another great thing about Outlier, guys. You come over here to this Add My Picks. Now, you can add that right into your picks, right? It's going to track them all for you. Um, and, you know, you can literally link your uh, sports book to this, right? So you can start adding in all your picks, and then you can just directly place those bets right from here. It's a beautiful thing, right? Um, but you can come over here, man, to this little drop down. And look, it's going to show you everywhere that uh, this player prop is available on which sports books. Now, right now, we can only find this on FanDuel and Underdog. But if it's on DraftKings, if it's on Bet MGM, Bet365, no matter what it is, it's going to be listed down underneath of here with the odds. That way, you can find uh, the sports book that has the best odds on it. And like I've said before, man, make sure you guys are rolling with multiple sports books, man. Now, that doesn't mean that we got to be throwing hundreds or thousands or whatever. You know, we don't have to throw a shitload of money into every sports book. But it makes more sense to have your bankroll spread out over multiple sports books instead of piling it all into one. That way we can find the best odds and we can roll with that. Uh, but anyways, like I said, guys, Ezzy Magbagor, her rebounds under seven and a half. Now, if we look at her in her last five, she is smacking this at an 80% rate, hitting at four out of five. Um, if we push it back just a little bit further, looking at her over 10 games, still at an 80% rate, hitting it eight out of 10 times. Now, that's the thing about Outlier, too. They just make it real simple and easy for you guys. It's either green or it's red. Green is good. Red is bad, man. So we see a lot of green down here. That's what we like to see for these player props here. And if we look at her head-to-head, -head, now we don't, you know not ideal right red is bad that's what we just said however these are last year if we look down here at the date this is 2023 if we look at her to date this year uh five one rebound i'm gonna way underneath this number so you like to see that there and then if we look at the liberty as far as rebounds allowed now overall they are third right if we look at them against fours that does jump up to six but if we look at them against centers first first in rebounds allowed um, on the defensive end. And Ezzy Magbagor, she does kind of shift between that forward and center position. So I like our chances here, man. New York is killing Seattle on the boards. Um, you know, and Ezzy under seven and a half. So we just need her to hit at seven or below. I like our chances with this one. The next game we're looking at is going to be the Washington Mystics taking on the Phoenix Mercury. And then the Mercury are laying five in this one. We have an over under sitting at 166. Both teams are going to come in with equal rest. The Mystics are on the road here for the second straight in what will be a five-game stretch that sees them on the road for four out of those five. Now, the Mercury are on the final game of a five-game homestand, but despite their success at home on the year, I hear recently, man, they're just one and three over this homestand so far coming into this one. Uh, the Mystics, on the other hand, they've won three of their last four. Uh, Shakira Austin of Washington is out for this one, while Charisma Osborne and Becca Allen are both listed as game time decisions for Phoenix. Uh, the Mercury have been a mess offensively, man, since the return from the break. And even in their win over the Dream on Tuesday, they only scored 74 points on 35% shooting from the field and just 28% shooting from deep. Over the last five games, the Mystics sit at eighth for offensive rating, the Mercury second to last at 11th, but Washington owns a third best defensive rating over that time, while the Mercury sit at seventh. Uh, Washington, they've also found their touch from their perimeter again as well, hitting the second most threes at the fourth highest percentage. Phoenix is allowing the fourth highest uh, three-point shooting percentage and the most three-pointers made per game. So I'm going to lean Washington with the points here, man. Five points just feels a little too much uh, to lay with a Phoenix team that has been wildly inconsistent and just really just kind of dog shit on offense since the break, guys. Um, definitely not going to put my money on them uh, to win this one by six points. Doesn't feel good to me. Uh, the Mercury have also clinched a playoff spot, and although they beat Washington in, in uh, both prior meetings this year, Brittany Sykes didn't lace them up for either of those. Um, she is definitely one of Washington's top scorers. 
Washington is just a game back of Chicago and Atlanta for that eighth and final playoff spot as well. So I think we see the better effort from the Mystics tonight. And then for the total, I'm going to look over. Uh, both teams have the capability to get hot from deep. And it really, you know, it's just like we just need one of them to catch fire from the perimeter. And that could jeopardize any kind of underplay in this one. Um, but look, I definitely like the spread in this game more than the total. Uh, Phoenix, like I said, they've just been too wildly inconsistent on offense lately for me to want to look at a total too hard. Let's pop back over here to Outlier one more time. We have Ariel Atkins of the Washington Mystics. We're going to be looking at her points under 15 and a half. Now, Outlier throws these nice insights up, man, where we can click right into this, and it's going to filter it down to uh, whatever this insight is here. And this one here says, Ariel Atkins, she has failed to exceed this 15 and a half points in five of her last six games on the road. She's actually averaging just 14 points and coming up underneath of this number in those games, hitting at an 83% rate, right? Now, if we look at her in her last five, she smacked under there 100% of the time. If we want to push it back a little bit further, it just stays looking green, man. 80%. A lot of green down there, 8 out of 10 times. If we look at her in her last 10, she's still hitting at a 70% rate. Or last 20, my bad, excuse me, her last 20. 14 out of 20 times she's hit under this mark as well. Um, you know, Like I said, we can just kind of keep going through it. Two out of three times, head-to-head -head against Phoenix. Um, on the year, you know, the, the entirety of 2024, she's hitting above 60% at a 64% rate. 21 out of 33 games. So you love to see that, man. And then if we look at Phoenix... Um, overall for points allowed they set at just ninth right if we look at them specifically against guards that jumps up to fourth um so that's going to do it here guys if you enjoyed the content today please hit that like button down below it's definitely helpful we definitely appreciate it a ton and if you could hit that subscribe button if you have not already you don't want to miss out man we got a ton of content coming up especially with the football season on the horizon uh, between college football and the nfl i mean we're gonna have something coming out for you guys damn near every day so it's a beautiful thing, man. We got a lot going on at the Guy Boston Sports Channel. You do not want to miss out, uh, like I said, especially through this football season. And then we just stay busy, man. We know we'll be right back around with the NBA, MLB, WNBA. We got stuff coming for you guys all year long. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there, guys. And I will see you guys on the next video. Have a great night. I hope we make a little bit of cash, man. Best of luck to everybody out there. I'll see you on the next video.